A sleek new Navy ship few of us knew existed is in London after sea trials of a quantum navigation system designed to give our armed forces the edge. We do have GPS, but as has been publicised recently, sometimes that can be interfered with or sometimes it doesn't work. So the ability to have a new and novel way of accurately, very accurately plotting your position is fundamental to the way the Royal Navy and the military does business. It's all very James Bond. Until you get to the technology itself, inside a shipping container surrounded by scientists from Imperial College. We can't see inside the white box containing the machine. Many of its components are secret. But a few miles away in the labs where they developed it is a prototype. So this is a, a cold atom interferometer at heart. So we start by cooling clouds of iridium-87 atoms down to very, very low temperatures, so a few microkelvin to a few millionths of a degree above absolute zero. You can see those rubidium atoms glowing red in these pictures. In this quantum state, the particles also behave as waves, allowing the researchers to measure acceleration and pitch with incredible precision. But real waves, not quantum ones, are the issue for practical navigation. Controlling and measuring the subatomic properties of matter is hard enough to do in a laboratory setting. So what this trial is really about is seeing whether a quantum technology can even work out at sea. And that's where the Navy's new research ship comes in. So this is our first opportunity to take our quantum sensors out of the laboratory. Clunky nylon straps hold a precious cargo of floating quantum matter onto the deck. This is a very exotic environment for one of these kind of sensors. So uh, one of the big challenges is making it work in the real world where things are moving, um, magnetic fields are changing, there are lots of vibrations that we need to manage to keep this thing stable enough to be able to operate it as it, as it needs to work. The trial has shown promising results. The team hopes it will point the way to a new era in navigation. Tom Clark, Sky News.